hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, my name's Katie. Today I'm going to be flipping through my sketchbook, so this is a finished A5 Royal Talons Art Creation sketchbook, and if you want to see me flip through the first half of this sketchbook, then I'll link that video up in the cards and down in the description box. So I finally finished the sketchbook earlier this year, and I do want to preface the video like I did in my first video, just to say that I know this sketchbook isn't very experimental or in the traditional terms of using a sketchbook. There are a lot of finished pieces in here and I use this mostly for my daily art challenge rather than to try out materials or experiment with things. I have a separate sketchbook for that. So I know uh, it's very easy on social media and YouTube to compare yourself with other artists so please know that these are very finished paintings and I hope that you're able to find some inspiration in this video. So with that being said, I'm going to get on with the sketchbook flip and I hope you enjoy watching. So this is exactly halfway through this Royal Talent sketchbook and where we got to in the last video. So I really like this spread and it's very simple and I don't generally work like this anymore. This was referenced from a screenshot from an Instagram account which shares film stills and I just use gouache on this and generally I always add mixed media so this was a nice experiment for me and I really like the colours and it's nice to use um, film stills for references because it's already been like, you don't really have to think about the layout because the director's already done that and I really like the colour palette down here. Then this was a real life study of a pillar plant which is on my wind windowsill. I don't often reference from real life, sometimes I do some plain air drawing but generally I don't draw still lives or things that are in front of me. So th on this day I wasn't sure what to draw and the pillar plant was capturing the light so nicely the sun was streaming through the window and through the leaves and it cast this really nice shadow so I just wanted to capture that and I really like the way this looks on the pink. So this is a panel spread and I do quite a lot of these now. This was a random Google Maps pin drop in Orobro, Sweden and then what I usually do is I draw out the panels and then I go around the neighbourhood where I've put my pin down and draw some of the houses that I see. And I really love exploring Europe especially in this way because they have such nice houses, they're always really colourful and I love the like wooden sliding. So especially in this neighbourhood I found there to be some lovely houses so I wanted to draw them in my sketchbook and I used Tombows, Neocolors, coloured pencils and some Ecoline brush pens for this. So for these I tend to not use gouache. And I also remember adding in these cars and I don't, at the time I didn't draw cars very often so I was really pleased with how they turned out. And there are just some nice little details in here that I'm really pleased with. So this was referenced from a photo I took when we went on holiday. Um, so this was drawn on the 16th of January and we went to Castle Coombe way back in September. And I wanted to experiment painting and again this is just gouache and I'm really pleased with this one, I love the style, I'm really happy with the leaves. I definitely added and spent a lot more time on the bottom half than I did with the top. You can see I think I kind of got a bit bored here so I'm not so happy with this because it feels unfinished. But I'm really pleased with some of the lighting down here and I really love how this feels as well as how it looks. So the next one is this very fancy chicken and I am I remember being really pleased with how this turned out. I always used to do very flat coloured backgrounds whereas this one I really wanted to increase and enhance the amount of texture so you can see I've used some gouache, some Tombows and some um, Neo colours and coloured pencils over the top to really enhance the scribbliness and I remember really enjoying how this turned out and I know that I've taken lessons from this and put them in to practice with some of the later pieces as well. This was drawn with a nib pen and some black ink and then I went over the top with some coloured pencils. This was done for a prompt challenge on Instagram and I'm still really happy with how this one turned out as well. I think the prompt was blackberries and I don't think I've ever drawn them before so that was a bit of a challenge, I wasn't quite sure how I would do it. So I ended up doing like a base of gouache like I normally do and then adding some Neocolor pastels and Prismacolor pencils over the top and I used 
like a purple one and a blue one just to define some of the shapes of the blackberries and also the feathers in the bird. It felt quite messy when I did it but I'm really pleased with it and you can see it's quite messy where I've like just blocked out the shapes with gouache but overall I think it works really nicely. This next one was a massive fail and I didn't post this anywhere, I'm not proud of this at all. This was definitely influenced from the chicken. You can see I kind of tried to do it with the background but the greens were coming out really awfully. It wasn't this nice like yellowy green, it was really bright vivid green. So I tried to cover up with new colours and it just didn't work. I'm really unhappy with how this one turned out. So I didn't post this online. This is another piece which I didn't share anywhere. This was a challenge from Emma Carlyle's Patreon and I think it was like creating figures and seeing shapes out of negative space. So I put down some blocks of colour and then I went over the top to try and find some figures in there and I remember hating it at the time. Now I can see that it was a good experiment but I, again not one that I'd want to share anywhere or on my Instagram. So I remember drawing this one and feeling a little bit stuck for the daily art challenge but I'm really happy with how this one looks. It feels very spring-like and summery. This is just a study of some apple blossom and I really like the colours. I really enjoy the texture that's been created from the colouring pencil over the gouache and also the minimal lines I've added. I, I haven't added them everywhere and I think that works really nicely. So again, I, I remember these quite vividly. Um, it was only a few months ago that I filled this sketchbook. And I remember this one feeling very Halloween-like. I wasn't very pleased with how this one turned out simply because of the colour palette. I think it would work better if the house wasn't this purple. And I think like the purple and green is what makes me think of fall and Halloween. I think I would like it more if it was a different colour. But I do like some of the details. And this was created with mixed media but no paint, so just the pens, pencils and neocolored pastels. This was a page which I had a lot of fun with. It didn't perform very well but I remember really enjoying this one and I think this was done for Birdfest which was a, a challenge hosted by Birdie Tam. And I'd never heard of these ducks before um, but they obviously look very unique and same process as the chicken one, I drew these birds with a dip pen and some ink and then I coloured it in with Prismacolor pencils and then I filled in the background with a lot of texture using gouache and neo colours. I really like the um, shape of this one, I really love how the wing turned out and I don't often use action poses for birds but I think it worked really nicely here. So this was quite a basic spread for me and I was surprised by how well this did on Instagram. I have a lot of stamps from when my dad collected them and so I've got a huge stash which I usually use for journaling and I've never used in my art before but I wanted to draw some of them and you can see I've also stuck them in so a lot of these are the ones that I've drawn but this started off by seeing some stamps on Twitter and so these were referenced from the Twitter page and then the rest were referenced from my collection and it's a very basic page but um, there's obviously a lot of colour and I do like the tactileness of adding the collage to the page. So I, you might see these bits of paper that I put in and that's just to stop the neo colours from rubbing on the other page. Um, I haven't gone through and sprayed this with fixative at all but seeing as I'm not working in this book anymore it doesn't really matter. But this was done as part of Autumn Chew's Patreon challenge and this was on a draw along session and I was really happy with how this one turned out. I really liked the lighting. It feels obviously very different for me but I was happy with the colours and some of the texture on this one. This was again done in an, one of Autumn's Patreon sessions and this was referencing a film still. This is very different to how I normally work and I do have another sketchbook now for things like this where they're a lot messier and, and I use those for experiments whereas this turned into just a sketchbook for my daily art challenge. But I really like this one. It was really nice to do a figure for once and I really love some of the texture. So this was a daily art piece that I was really unhappy with and it reminded me to even if you don't like some of the artwork you create, you can still find good things from it. 
So from this, I was really unhappy with the bird, but I was really happy with the colours, and this was a colour palette I don't often use. And so I created these little colour swatches, which I've kept in with the page just to remind me. But I really was happy with this combination, so although I don't like this piece, it was nice to try out a new colour palette. This one was created with Neo Colours only for all the birds and then I went in and added the gouache behind and I remember not being sure about adding that in and whether I should have kept it blank but I'm really glad I did and I was really happy with these. As I went on from this page I've done a few other spreads where they're filled with birds and this was the very first one that I did so you can see as I did more I definitely went more detailed with the birds. These are still quite sparse on details and a bit basic but um, it was a really good starting point and I can see where my artwork has gone because of this page. So this was drawn plain air, this was just at my local nature reserve and this was the first piece I did and then I did another one in my A4 sketchbook and this one I definitely think was the least successful um, compared to the bigger one but it was nice to get a lot of texture and I think this was the first time I took my paints plain air with me. Usually I just use um, coloured pencils and pens, but it was nice to actually take my paints and create some of this texture. So this was an experiment using a stick to draw, so I just used a stick which I actually found when I visited those lakes and just dipped it into black ink and then drew these florals and then I filled in around it with pink acrylic and this is obviously very different to what I normally draw, so again this was just an experiment but although I don't do things like this generally, it was really nice to use different materials. So this was another bird one, obviously came from the idea of doing these birds, but they're obviously very different. Still using just gouache for the birds, but I filled in the background with more of the gouache. And then I added in all of this extra texture, which again you can see from the very first chicken one. that was. I just find it really interesting how doing some of these things in my sketchbook influences some more of my work later on and I don't tend to realise it until I flip back or see them next to each other. And I was so happy with this spread. I made a reel from this one and I just was really pleased with how it turned out. It feels like there's a lot of life to this page and I'm really proud of this owl. So this is another panel page. This was drawn referencing photos that I took on a walk which I went on with my partner in the forest and I remember doing this quite quickly. Um, I wasn't as happy with it as I wanted to be. It feels quite messy and like I usually don't like to be able to see the paper through. There's a lot of texture here on the neo colours where I would usually blend but I obviously didn't spend a huge amount of time on this spread. But I do like the colour palette and this did incredibly well on Instagram as well, which I was surprised at. But I always like to document walks and things and I think this was a really nice way to do it and I hadn't used that in the panel style before. This was a spread done as part of Joanna Clay's Patreon. She does a drawing challenge for her patrons each month. And I didn't actually send this in to her, so Jo, if you're watching this, um, you won't have seen this before, and I haven't shared this anywhere else, but this was inspired by her still life photo, and I'm actually really pleased with how this turned out. This was very inspired by Jo's colour palettes, and like, you can see this isn't my usual style, but it was really interesting working in this way, and I really like the flatness of the gouache with the pencil on top. This one is another one I'm quite proud of and I actually created a nature set of postcards out of four of these like nature themed pieces that is available in my Etsy shop. But I really loved these deers. This is one where I didn't create colours on my palette, I just mixed them straight on the page. So the bodies of these deer I think are really interesting where I haven't obviously mixed beforehand and I think that works really well with animals. I drew these first with coloured pencils and then I painted around it and then I added on the background later which again is very textured with some um, coloured pencil just slightly drawn over the top. This is another one in that postcard set and I was really pleased with how this one turned out. This is only near colour so I think this is the first piece that I've done just near colour and 
I just love some of the blending. I was really happy with the light up here. And I also added on like a bit of the bark and the leaves um, in the background, whereas usually I would just do the bird. I just think there's a lot of movement to this and I was really pleased with this one. So another panel spread. This was again done on Google Maps. I think this was exploring Finland, but this was the first one I did and I was really taken by the shape of the house. And then this one's a bit less bold and a little bit less graphic than the other one from Sweden, but still really like this one. And this one does have gouache in the sky, but the rest of it's done with neo colors and tombos. So this was done as part of April, who's Monkey Mintaka here on YouTube as part of her draw this in your style challenge and I do remember there is a video on this one if you want to see the process but again the bird was created only with neocolor pastels and I really enjoy blending those together I use the neocolor twos and again I do have a video explaining the process and some Q&A's about neocolors here on YouTube which I'll link up in the cards but this was very different for me I used gouache for the background and some neocolors here but this isn't the sort of thing I usually draw, which is obviously the good thing about all this in your styles. Definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone and I'm still really pleased with this one. I didn't like it at the time, I think because it was so different, but it definitely feels very whimsical and I definitely like it a lot more now. This was drawn on a drawing session with Odd Orange Stationery and this was referenced from National Geographic Pictures. And these were very quick, they were timed drawings. I think they were 10 or 15 minutes each. And I think this has a bit of gouache like in the sky and in the background here. But generally for timed things, I only use Neocolors, pencils and Tombows. Um, this one was mostly Neocolors and I really like some of the texture here. But I also like the people that I've added just to show that sense of scale. This was very different for me. This was a floral piece which I did using a technique I don't do very often and that's just using a flathead brush. And it feels very delicate but I'm, I'm pleased with this one. I really like the colour swatches down here. There was a flower behind here which didn't go very well so I covered that up with this. And it just feels like an experimental sort of sketchbook spread. It's really nice to use a different technique. So this one was using a very detailed reference image so I wanted to push myself and I'm pleased with how this one turned out. I really love how the water turned out and the fish down there and it was just a good exercise in trying a more detailed reference image which I don't usually do. This one again you can tell is influenced by the earlier bird pieces and again I just used neocolors for the birds and then added some gouache in the background. I usually would just do like a wash of green like you've seen previously but I wanted to add on a bit of like sky and ground on this one and I really love the colours that I've used up here. Another Google Maps spread this time in Indonesia which isn't somewhere that I usually draw but I remember the pin dropping me on this street and there were just so many different views and I really wanted to focus in on some of the details so you can see here I've just gone for like a shop sign the telegraph poles and this shack and then another house. I really love the size of these panels. Usually I just do like three or four big ones but I really like this orientation and I think this one turned out really nicely. This is a page which I've only shown on Patreon and this was created in the car when I was waiting for my partner and this feels very messy for me but there is a lot of texture and this was done with neo colors and coloring pencils. So there's no gouache here and I think it would have worked better if these trees in the background were pushed back a little bit more, maybe a little lighter because I think they look too close but otherwise I think the texture is really nice. This is a page which I've not shown anywhere, obviously it's unfinished. Um, I'm not sure what the plan was for this one but I clearly drew on this chipmunk and I don't know if it was from a prompt challenge but it just didn't feel very me, this doesn't feel like my style and so I didn't ever finish it. This is another one which I've only shared on Patreon, so I do share some of my secret sketches, like I've got a sketchbook which I don't share on Instagram or anywhere else, that's just for patrons, so this was in one of their posts where I shared some of my pieces. And I wasn't massively happy with this spread, I do like the blue tits in flight but I don't think I 
drew them very well, they don't seem quite right and it just felt a little bit lacking for me. This was a piece I did plain air, so again I went to my local nature reserve and discovered this Bronze Age round hut and again I took my paints with me which was really nice and it's very dirty and messy but um, I always find that I enjoy the plain air paintings ones so even if I don't like the result I really enjoy the process. Again another nature page which I've done again using the neo colour technique so you can see how this is sort of like a series where I've just done the birds or the animals in the neo colours and then I filled in the background with gouache and all down here this is just neo colour so very heavy on the neo colour but I really love the texture that it creates and I was pleased with how this mouse turned out. I also don't draw butterflies very often so that was out of my comfort zone and I think they worked out really nicely. Another one I didn't finish, this was for a prompt on Instagram, and I just did the base layer in gouache, but I obviously didn't like the way it was going, so it never got finished. This one was referenced from some National Geographic photos, which I found on a Tumblr, and this was inspired by the odd orange stationary drawing session that I showed you earlier, and I really enjoyed drawing those National Geographic photos, so I decided to find my own. And these were timed drawings, so this one was 15 minutes and this one was 10. And I really love how this turned out, I really like the texture, and I really love the orange panels that I've drawn them in. They feel quite soft and I was really happy with the lighting on this one and the texture on this one. So this is a black grouse. I remember not knowing what to draw that day and I sometimes worry and stress a little bit about it for my daily art challenge. So for this one I just, I remember I was uploading a Patreon video, I had uh, 14 minutes left on my upload and so I decided to just grab a book of birds and draw the first thing I found, which was this black grouse. So it's obviously very messy and quick but I really love the energy that comes from that and I was really pleased with his little face. Again, uh, another one that's referenced from National Geographic pictures. These were 15 minutes each and these were referenced from magazines which I bought at a car boot. So these were referenced from a natural magazine. And I was really happy, I really like how this one turned out, I like the lighting here. This one was probably a bit too complicated of an image to do in 15 minutes, but I think I managed to get most of the things I wanted to done. This was a fun spread, this was just a fish, but I was really happy with his little cheeky face and this was done with gouache and mixed media. I added some of these which I found in the back from a earlier piece in the sketchbook and I've just added those on top, but this one was really fun and I really like the colours. So the last one in this sketchbook, this was a, another Google Maps piece, this was down in Cornwall. And this is definitely where I'm feeling really confident in my landscapes. I really enjoy adding the texture, so this was done with a thinner layer of gouache, and then I added Tombow's Ecoline brush pens, near colours and pencils over the top. So those are like my base materials, and I was really happy with this how this turned out. I added these lines in the sea, which I do all the time now. I think this is the first one I did it on. I was really pleased with it because I didn't love it before I added those on. And I've also added some burgundy and pink highlights which I like to do in my landscapes. But I just was really happy I ended the sketchbook on a high. So the very last page, I've just got some swatches here. And that's it for this sketchbook. So all in all, I think it took about six or seven months to finish and I use this mostly for my daily art challenge. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed seeing a flip through of my sketchbook and if you missed part one then I'll link that up in the cards. Otherwise I'll see you next Sunday with a new video. See you later!